So now let's think of some, uh, go ahead a little bit. Now we have how many greens come together? Green one, green two, green three, right? Now let's think in your practical polyquistly material, we have three greens come together. We have also as a result, theta one, theta two, theta three, gamma one, two, gamma two, three, and gamma one, three. Gamma one, two means what? The green boundary energy between green one and green two. Gamma two, three is the green boundary energy between green two and green three. That, that's the more general case. Make sense? And if we say for simplicity, the interfacial energy, the green boundary energy is independent of orientation, which means we are talking about high angle quite often, high angle green boundary, not twinning types. The general case, they are pretty same, right? In that case, okay, the gamma over d theta would be zero. And uh, we don't go into the detail, the equilibrium. Equilibrium means what? The local structure does change or does not change with time. Equilibrium which means locally the structure would stay the same unless I change condition. On the equilibrium condition, people have this relationship. The ratio between gamma 2, 3 over the opposite angle would be the same for all these three. Okay? Gamma over sine theta 1. Gamma 2, 3, this is green boundary over this angle. Gamma 1, 3, this green boundary was just the pointing angle versus gamma 1, 2, this one versus gamma 3. They are all, the ratio should be the same. And then if we further simplify, don't forget this relationship. Make sense? All those three angles, if we are looking at uh, the actual real angle, all those three angles adds up to 360 degree or 2 pi. And then if we are dealing with the completely homogeneous neglect the same, in the same phase, this makes sense, right? High angle green boundary within the same material, all these three gamma values should be the same, right? We are talking about high angle green boundary. High angle that is no longer sensitive to what? Orientation, right? How you orientate. We said that value quite often is one third of your surface energy. Okay, roughly. When this happens, what would happen to this angle? Very simple, right? When the gamma, three of the gammas are the same, which means the three theta would be the same, and three theta add up to 360, each of the theta would be 120 degree. That kind of explains why in reality, when you look at the polycrystalline material, when you look at uh, the three green come together, in most cases, the three angle are, would be roughly 120 degree under equilibrium or close to equilibrium condition. You may find at the very beginning it's not, but over time they would stay at 120 degree. Okay? Then a related question would be, do we see something like this? Four greens come together under equilibrium condition. One, two, three, four. Well, if you are careful, if you look at enough, enough of so-called microstructure image, you will find very few cases you will find this, or more green come together. And there's a reason for that. There typically will not be four greens or more coming together, meeting at the same edge. And let's say, how do we prove it mathematically? Let's say we have four green, initially four green, one, two, three, four, they are meeting at uh, O point. Actually, it's an edge. Make sense? Let's say they move a little bit from O, stretch out a little bit to P. Make sense? Initially, there are four greens meeting at A, uh, at O point. Now, I'm having the green boundaries in this O stretch out a little bit from O to OP. So the red, is a newly created uh, what 
the red dash represents the newly created green boundary, right? Because initially, green 4 and green 2, are they touching each other? They touch, but they, do they share a green boundary? Initially, between 4 and 2, do they initially share a green boundary? No, but in the new situation, the 4 and 2 would share this red green boundary, right? But at the same time, do you see this dash, the blue, that kind of initial green boundary are gone? Okay, so when we are going to consider the energetics aspect, we are calculating what? The change in energy would be red one, the final state. I'm creating a green boundary between O and P, that is between which green? Green 2 and green 4. This is my newly created uh, green boundary. At the same time, the two dashed blue portion of green boundary are gone. Make sense? Between 1 and 4, between 1 and 2, this part are gone. So I'm minus 2 times gamma of LOP cosine theta. I'm defining the angle between here in within green 1 and 2 theta. So cosine theta which is roughly this angle, roughly from red to blue, that's roughly that angle, not, not exact precise, but roughly from here to here, cosine theta, L times cosine theta, that's the length for this dashed blue, two of it, okay? And then, if we work out, if we put gamma in the front, okay, L, O, P, in the front, we would have 1 minus cosine theta. Again, between here and here is 2 theta. And I'm um, having cosine theta. So what this mean would be, if my theta is smaller than 60 degree, if theta is smaller than 60 degree, my cosine theta would be larger than what? Theta is from 0 to 60. When theta is 0, what is cosine theta? 1, right? If theta is smaller than 60 degree, which means my cosine theta would be larger than 0.5, makes sense? From 0.5 all the way to 1, right? If my theta is smaller than 60, from 0 to 60, my cosine theta would be larger than 0.5, which means 1 minus 2 times of this guy would be smaller than zero. What does that mean? I start with this, I end up with this, but the free energy change would be negative, means the process is so-called spontaneous. It would happen, it would happen. Make sense? So that that is a fundamental reason that even if I have one, two, three, four green come together meeting at an edge, if you give it enough time, that edge would uh, so-called split to end up with two of the three greens meeting together as long as this one. You may say, okay, this this angle uh, is not 120, it's not less than 16. Then you may find the other angle smaller. So one way or the other you find it. Make sense? Okay.